Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. This is an exciting vlog because you guys have been requesting this. I am going house hunting again today to look at some more houses. If you guys did not see my first house hunting vlog, I looked at a few houses. I saw some pretty nice ones, but nothing was really perfect. So of course, I need to do some more looking. I need to really narrow in on what I want. I'm going to look again, and this time I'm actually going to be looking closer into my ideal neighborhood which means that for the house that I want, it's probably going to be more expensive. So this time we're, we're upping, we're upping our standards a little bit. We're not going to settle for a location that's too far out, but we're also not going to settle for a house that's too small. We kind of had a mixture of that in the last video. This time we're not settling. I'm going to look at the more expensive houses because I want the location, but I want the house and I don't feel like I should have to settle for less. Buying my first home has been something that I've been saving up for for such a long time. I've been thinking about it. It's just if you guys watch my channel if you guys know me you know that this is a big deal so I'm going into it full force that's what I have decided so just like I'm not gonna settle for less with the type of house that I'm looking for I don't settle for less when it comes to my deodorant either I live in Texas it is hot it is humid it is sweaty weather now it is officially May and I need a deodorant that offers fast and effective protection against unexpected sweat so I've been using secret clinical strength this is the invisible solid it goes on dry and it keeps you dry. I absolutely love Secret Deodorant. It is the only deodorant brand that I have really ever used. It's the one that I stick to. It's the one that works the best for me, especially the clinical strength because it lasts all day in this Texas heat, y'all. And Secret is all about women standing up for what they believe in, demanding more, achieving what they deserve. For the past 60 years, they've been working to specifically find out what women need from their deodorant to provide them with odor and wetness protection. So yeah, if you're not gonna settle for less with anything else in life don't settle for less when it comes to your deodorant get yourself a deodorant that will really work for you and definitely try out secret clinical strength if you haven't already so Zaya is actually at school right now I dropped her off this morning I came back I'm getting ready now I actually have some other videos to film some errands to run some different content to work on and then we're gonna go house hunting later this afternoon after picking up Zaya from school so she's actually gonna get to come with us this time and look at the houses so maybe she can share her opinions on the houses I don't know but that's also another reason why I use the secret clinical strength because I need my deodorant to last all day from me getting ready in the morning to shooting content to doing stuff later in the afternoon in the Texas heat I need it to last because nobody has time to be reapplying and taking showers in the middle of the day all right guys so it's a little bit later in the day now Zaya has been at school I picked her up she's back there I don't know if you guys can really see her from this angle I got some stuff done and my deodorant is still fresh still feeling and fresh and now we're about to go uh, look at the houses so I'm meeting up with my mom again over there because she's still kind of like playing the role as my realtor like last time she's not a realtor but she's kind of just showing me the ropes and showing me around and giving me some ideas still kind of looking for the same parameters like in terms of how many bedrooms having the master the guest room Zaya's room an office and a studio room so I want a nice backyard you know similar things things that I was looking in my first house hunting video but the difference this time is like I said earlier is that I really didn't want to settle for a location that was not my ideal location I brought some emergency Barbie snacks with me because you never know she might get bored of looking at houses you got milk all over your face are you ready to go look at some houses yeah, yeah. you want a new house open <laughs> You don't care, you just wanna eat Barbie snacks. All right, so this is house number one. So far, I like the fact that it has kind of like these nice exterior details. It has the stucco. So my mom actually just took Zaya and went over next door to another house to ask a question. So I'm coming in this first house looking by myself for now. And I'm gonna try and be careful this time not to make the camera too shaky and spinny because I know last time the camera was kind of all over the place because we were just really excited looking at all the houses. So I'm going to try and slow down and give a clearer view this time. So I think this house is like smaller than what I'm really looking for, but it's kind of just giving an idea idea of kind of what you get for the price but basically coming in the front door you have kind of a little entry walkway over to the right it looks like an office this is a decent sized office with nice windows 
and they've got it styled with all these built-ins that go all the way up to the ceiling. They've got a couch in here and then the nice desk and another chair over here. So this is a nice sized office right when you walk in with the French doors and then it opens up to like the kitchen area. It's got like the cabinets with the wine section over there. A nice island. You know, this is a decent sized kitchen. I think for me, I would really love like a really bright white kitchen. I don't really like the darker styles with the kitchens, but they've got their bar stools and then they've got a decent size for like the eating area. So this is a decent size. This is a cute little window feature right here. You could put pillows right here. This is the living room. The living room is kind of small, I feel like, compared to what I've seen before. There is a fireplace, but this is just a living room right here. So, I mean, it's not small, but it's smaller than some of the other ones. Nice built-in details. I really like details like that, where it's got different architectural stuff, different built-ins, different textures and materials. I feel like that's what really makes a house look nice. So this leads to the outside over here off the living room, but here's like an overall view of kind of how big the main area is in here. It's pretty decent. Off the living room, this is the master. Oh wow, this is big and nice. Wow, wow, it's got the whole little extra seating area over here. It's like a whole living room inside of your bedroom. Cause you could put the TV right there. Master bed, lots of room for lots of different furniture in here. I like the windows again like that. I'm not really feeling this wall piece headboard situation, not really my style, but I see what they were going for. Except it's kind of weird, like usually you kind of want to watch TV from your bed. So the TV is kind of over here off to the side behind this ledge. So I guess you're supposed to really sit on the couch and watch the TV, but I like to watch TV from my bed. So that's kind of a weird setup for me. And this is the master bath. I like the fact that it has the long double sink so you get lots of counter space in between, lots of cabinet space. Big, long mirror, nice tub, decent shower. And then on this side, it has the closet, which is, you know, it's an okay walk-in closet. Kind of reminds me of the closet that I had in my first apartment when I moved back to Austin. So going back through the living room and the kitchen, over here we have the other bathroom, this is pretty big, double sinks, leads you back here to a shower, no tub. So this bathroom is for this other bedroom, which is also a pretty good size. We've got just a little closet over here with the double doors, so not a big closet or anything. Decent size, regular bedroom over here. And then there's another room over here. So they've got it set up as more of like another office rather than another bedroom, but it could go either way because there is a closet thing, but they've got it just set up differently. And then this is the laundry room leading into the garage. Very basic laundry room, no extra like sink or like extra storage. It's just got the one cabinet, so. That's kind of like, mm, I really wanted like a nice laundry room. Going back out this way, that was it, right? Yeah, nothing else on this side. So it's just got the main big office in the front of the house. Master bedroom is way in the back of the house. And there is another two bedrooms that can kind of be bedrooms or offices. So I do like the fact that the bedrooms are like in the house. Like you walk all the way in, you walk all the way past the kitchen, then you have the first two bedrooms and then in the back you have the master. That's kind of how I like it because I feel weird when the bedrooms are like right by the front door. Hey. There's Zaya. Hi, boo-boo. So what'd you think? Um, I mean, there's stuff that I like about it. I just feel like it's not really hitting the mark. I forgot to show the backyard actually. This home sells for 460. You like the house, Zaya? 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has cool features, but it's not the type of features that I need. Zaya. Wow, so much room to run around in here. This is a big house. So you walk in the front door and to your right, you have like a dining room type area over here with underneath this arch. They've got it with a mirrored wall back there. So that's interesting. And then to your left, you have the office and they've got big French doors on it, window, and they've got this whole built-in situation on the back wall with the desk in the middle, but this is a, a good size office. And then you walk through, you've got your little mud room right here. And then I guess that goes into the garage. What are you doing? You gonna go up the stairs? So it opens up into the living room and the kitchen. So this kitchen is kind of just like an L-shaped thing with a more tri triangular-ish island in the middle. It's got some nice features, nice. Oh yeah. It's got like a regular pantry, but then it's also got this little built-in part right here. You can put it like a butler's pantry or a coffee nook or whatever. And then on this side, oh, this is where the laundry room actually is. And it does have a, um, some cabinets and a sink in here. So then over here you have your little eating area, although they have the more formal dining room in the front of the house. This is like your little casual dining and breakfast with all the windows. And then we'll have to go look at the backyard. And then the living room is pretty big. They've got fireplace. Lots of space for these big couches. You like this house? Yeah. So through here, off the living room, we have the master. Well, first there's actually a little bathroom right here. This is the powder room, a little half bath. And then right next door is the master, which is a little weird. Nice size, not as big as that other one we just saw because it doesn't have that extra whole seating area, but it does have space for this extra furniture over here and big windows. And the master bathroom is nice. I feel like they have these homes finished out and kind of staged in a more Texan country way almost which is not really my style. I would go for more white rather than beige, more plain. They've got a bunch of detailed tile and stuff, so I'm trying to imagine it with like my own finishes that I would choose. Again, they have the tub in between the sinks, which is like the new cool thing, I guess. I don't really like that as much. This is just the... Um, Toilet closet. This is the um, big linen closet. It's kind of unusual to have such a big space like that for the bathroom. This is the closet. This is the closet. Is it big? Oh wow. It seems like they're not maximizing the space right. Yeah. With the way they have this. You could get custom closets in here and it would be a lot more efficient. Okay, first floor done. I don't like that the, the powder room is right next to the master. It's like they have guests over here. That's the whole point of having a powder room is so that they don't have to go, you know, into your bedroom or over there. It's usually more like in the front of the house, in the main area. So that's the downstairs, but there is upstairs, and Zaya's already going. So let's go. So this upstairs, oh no, it is like a regular full upstairs. I thought it was just gonna be just this loft area. No, we gotta have some more bedrooms. Full upstairs. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk over this, and ooh, it's got a, um, it's a couple of balcony things. So this is like the playroom, game room, loft area, right? You get up the stairs. 
they've got as like a kid's playroom, which is what I would use it for, for Zaya with all her toys and stuff. It's a big space, as you can see, like the way they have it set up. Lots of storage and seating, and they put a chalkboard wall, that's a cute idea. Hey. And then the, it leaked out to a balcony out here. Wow, balcony. Wow, big balcony. Big balcony. You're chilling time. Time to come out here with some wine. Yes. That's nice. Yeah, the views are nice out here. So, I didn't even, how many bedrooms is it? I don't know, I think, you got the thing in your hand. Oh, so downstairs is just the master bedroom and the office. Upstairs is second bedroom, third bedroom, fourth bedroom. And then, the, but there's also a bunch of optional add-on stuff. First bedroom, number one upstairs, Zaya's room. Mm -hmm. Would you feel comfortable having Zaya upstairs at this age and you being downstairs? I was gonna say no, but when I really think about it, if I'm just putting her to bed, she's not a newborn baby anymore where she's waking up through the night and I'm having to check on her. She sleeps through the night, that's it, we're done. So if I'm putting her to bed at night, that should be fine, but it's more so the playroom yeah. where I won't be able to like be working and doing stuff downstairs in my office while she's upstairs playing by herself. But the bedroom, I mean, does, I don't think that matters as much. So yeah, basically you walk into one of the bedrooms it's a good size and then they have their kind of sink area separate outside of the bathroom. Then you walk into the actual bathroom where the toilet and the bathtub is, then there's another door, then you've got the other side of the separate sink situation, so it's like Jack and Jill. And so they kind of get their own space, but they share the middle part and they have their own closets on either side. And then on this side, this bedroom, so they've got like a boys and girls room. And the girls room is a ballerina room and it has a little, uh, what's that called? <laughs> Ballet bar thing. Which of course does not come standard with the home, but it's just a cute idea. There's another bathroom over here because there's another bedroom over here. I don't like all these curtain frou frou dilly doos. <laughs> so this is like guest bedroom situation, little smaller, little closet. So we're back out into the main part. And there's another, what is this? This is, oh, this is the media room. Oh, cool. So they've got the big TV, they've got all the comfy couches, a really big room. And over here, we've got the little bar snack station. Is that cool? I mean, honestly, this house you can get built in several different configurations. You don't have to have your studio in your office, you could use the downstairs, is there a study down there? Yeah. Just for your computer and stuff. And you could, or, and or, you could turn one of these rooms. You might have the option to turn one of the rooms downstairs into a bedroom. But yeah. this is a lot of room. These are a lot of rooms. Yeah, so this is really nice. Got your little cooler, microwave, everything. And there's also, like, because if it's like a true media room, this is where you have all your behind the scenes setup stuff in here. And you could like put a projector, do the whole thing. As is sold for 560, which I think is an amazing price for this house. 560. Finished out like this. And so you don't have to get it finished out like this. I think they're including, since it was a model home, they're including the furniture and everything for that. That's crazy. But yeah, there's a lot of different options of how you want it configured with different room add-ons and stuff, so that obviously changes the price. I don't know, it's just throwing me off because it's hard for me to like think about what do I actually want to use the rooms for, not what do they have it set up as. This dining room, who knows, are you gonna ever use I don't, that's because I'm looking at all these rooms, it's like this is not, I didn't ever say I wanted a separate dining room, I didn't ever say I wanted a media room, all these different things, but what I do want is Yes, the playroom upstairs, how they have it, I would do that. Well, I guess I would do that. The office, but like having this dining room, I, to be honest, I will never use a formal dining room. I don't know, so like to me with stuff like that, I would rather 
have it set up differently so I can maximize it how I want to maximize it. And I know you, you, you change everything when you pick your own finishes and stuff like that, but something about this kitchen and the laundry room and the, I don't like, I don't like the way it's set up or the way it's laid out, I guess. It's cool, but it's not making me excited for me, for what I want. All right, so here is house number three, the final house that we're gonna be able to look at today. It's real nice from the outside, I can tell you that. Yeah, this house is really nice. I really like the exterior sty exterior style. <laughs> okay guys, so for this house, I'm gonna have to do a voiceover to explain everything, because there was people in the house talking, so I didn't really like talk as I was walking, but you walk into the front door. On the left side, you have the formal dining room, really nice then on the right side you have this big old office i mean it was big tall ceilings really nice beams on the ceilings i really like that detail it had a big window it's just super spacious because the furniture that you see in here is quite large furniture and then there's still just so much extra space to walk around this is the living room again very just large and spacious this house was over the top Look at this kitchen. Look how big it is and how many cabinets. And then there's the other more casual eating space over here, which is big in and of itself. And then, yeah, the kitchen was just over the top. It had the nicest appliances. It had, I think, three ovens total or something in there. And the pantry was kind of a butler's pantry type vibe because it does have this extra cabinetry where you could kind of set up a coffee nook or something like that. Plus all of these shelves and extra storage in the pantry. Really nice pantry. I really like that. But yeah, farmhouse sink, nice appliances, really nice stove top and everything. Then off the kitchen was this room, which I guess is kind of like the guest room, which is a pretty good size and also has a nice little closet and a really cute bathroom. I liked the finishes in this bathroom. If you notice the tile on the floor and the mint green tile in the shower, I thought that was really cute and Zaya liked it too. Then the laundry room was insane. This is the biggest laundry room I've ever seen. Look at these cabinets, all the extra storage, plus the sink in there and everything. And then that's not all because on the other side, there is a dog washing shower thing. Crazy. Plus the mud room where you hang up your purse, plus a whole nother full size fridge. Like you know how sometimes people have fridges in their garage? No, this is bougie. So going back into the living room, you can see the beams on the ceiling. And I didn't even notice there's a whole nother thing off the living room where you can have like your wine bar, wine cellar situation. So off the other side of the living room across from the kitchen, it's actually where the master bedroom is. Another coffee nook in the front of the master bedroom. So when you wake up in the morning, you can have your coffee and tea right inside your bedroom. And bro, look at this bathroom. I died. I was gagging. I was shook. This is the nicest bathroom I've ever seen in any of the houses that I've looked at. And it was all white. So it was totally my style. I love these windows above the tub. I love the square tub. I love the shelves that are above the tub. So many nice features in this bathroom, you guys. I was shook. I was in love. And then there's the other sink over there. And across from the other sink is this insane spa shower. Huge glass wall under this little archway. Whole thing is tiled out with white tile. It's a walk-in shower. So you just walk in around the side over here. And it has, of course, the really nice shower head and stuff, a little bench. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is my dream shower. This is my dream bathroom overall. It was crazy. And then of course you have the toilet over here and then you have the closet in the back of the bathroom and the closet was freaking huge. I don't think you can quite tell on camera how big it is because I didn't even have like a wide enough lens on my camera to capture it but it had this big old built-in which would be really cute for your shoes and your bags and then it had so much hanging storage because the hanging went all the way up to the top of the ceilings and the ceilings are so freaking tall you guys. This house was crazy. So now just taking you back out of the closet through the bathroom and into the master bedroom. Huge room, y'all. Tons of big furniture in here and still just so much extra space to walk around. So this room is huge, very tall ceilings, nice windows, 
very cute not really my style with how they have it decorated but still really nice and a nice view of the backyard which has a nice view i also just love the way that they added all these extra details like the ceilings and stuff like that and this coffee nook so going back out into the house and then going outside this backyard you guys very nice we've got this seating area with the tv which is covered and has fans on the ceiling then you have another seating area which is more like the outdoor kitchen because it has the full setup with the fridge the grill the outdoor table and chairs very very nice very bougie plus the sink and stuff over here plus another little seating area so the whole patio is huge and completely decked out no pun intended deck patio ha 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 and then look at this backyard you guys such a nice yard with such a beautiful view i felt like i was in calabasas or something but wait there's more we still have to go upstairs and the upstairs is freaking huge as well so when you first land upstairs the first thing you see is kind of the game room landing area which has three tvs on the wall bar stools pool table another seating area games you know this could be like a playroom game room where you watch sports and things like that and um yeah they had it completely decked out this is a very big area as well and then and off to the side of the game room you actually have the media room type situation where they have a couch and the TV and stuff as well as this other area where I feel like you could put a mini fridge and a microwave to make it like a full media room and here comes Zaya then you have all the bedrooms that are upstairs there's tons of bedrooms and bathrooms so we've got one full bathroom in here which is really nice and actually pretty big which goes with this bedroom which is just another big bedroom so I don't even know what I would use this room for if it were me, but it's another really big bedroom. Then across from that room, there is another very large bedroom. They have it set up as like a little girl's room, but this has lots of little nooks and crannies, built-in shelving areas. And I forgot to even show you the balcony that's connected to this room. But yeah, it's very large. I was getting confused walking through here. There's the closet and then it has her vanity and sink like inside of the bedroom. And then it leads you through another other door to the actual bathroom it's a full bath with the shower tub and toilet and then I got so confused I was like wait then it leads you into another uh, bathroom vanity area which leads you into another bedroom so at this point I was lost and then I walk out and I ended up back all the way around into the game room again so of course this house was complete overkill in terms of what I'm looking for but it was just nice to see some of these upgraded features that you could get and to see that you could get this much house for the price it makes me get excited for what I could get for my price range okay guys so we're back home now it's a little bit later and Zaya is over here on her iPad eating a snack before we finally wind down for the night you guys it was so hot outside today it was literally 90 degrees i decided to wear this long sleeve dress thingy thinking i was gonna be cute and i was so hot but no sweat stains pit stains whatsoever my armpit stayed nice and dry even though it was so hot i had to put my hair up that's how you know it was hot. But the secret clinical strength deodorant kept me completely dry all day after I had only applied it earlier this morning that one time. And yeah, so the houses that I looked at today, I would just say overall, like none of them fit exactly what I was looking for. It's just different layouts, different numbers of rooms, different types of rooms that I wasn't looking for. And it just wasn't exactly hitting the mark, but it was good to look and see what type of stuff I can get for my money in that neighborhood because that neighborhood is really nice and they're building a lot of new houses and I actually feel like it might be a pretty good fit. Not those specific model homes that I looked at, but kind of doing my own thing and building um, a house that could really work for me and fit all of my needs in that neighborhood it is going to be a little bit more expensive so it's just kind of on the on the um, high end of my budget because I think at first I said my budget was between three and five but I, I think I started as low as three and five was like the max 
So now we're kind of like at the max of the budget, which is fine because I was already budgeting on the safe side anyway. So maxing out my budget isn't gonna hurt me. The guy, the, the builder guy that was in there, he told us about another neighborhood that we didn't even know about. So we might go check that out again. So there's still gonna be plenty more house hunting videos. This series is definitely going to be ongoing. You're eating my, my special grain-free chips. But yeah guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below which house was your favorite today. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!